But if you'd like me to, I can demonstrate this this evening. Hey, go for it. it. Get set I'm up. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, well, please. Please. Oh, well, yes. Tell, tell us well, when and we'll come back to you. How's that? Well, I can do it now or you can, uh, we can oh. go from there. Now we're good. Now, yeah. Oh. He, that's a, that's our, uh, our, our demonstration master right there. If he says go, go. Um, no this denying is, that. This is Brown Maui that I have here. It's an Australian borough. And it's very, you, you get a lot out of one. I, I was specifically looking for some of them that were flat, but when you cut them up, you can get a whole lot of bottle stoppers out of one piece. So, um, and I'm turning it with this, but you could go ahead and, and turn it like you would a normal, uh, with the with the screw in it. I just haven't been turning them that way. So, Trace, your mic is uh, breaking up again. Uh, I'm breaking up again. Yeah. Okay. okay. Is that better now? Is the audio okay? Better now for now. <laughs> yeah. Um. To drill them, I made this jig, and I simply stick it in the corner. Notice I put a little block up under here so I don't get sawdust jammed in there. I'll stick it in the corner, and then I can safely drill that on the drill press. That's a good idea. And you're using 3 okay. 8 style, correct? I'm using 3 8 style. The other thing I did is I made this so I can actually cut, cut 3 8 dials off with it. To the right length? Uh, uh -oh. Yeah, it'd be to the skipped. right length. The other part I did for cutting, uh, what did I do with the one I just had in my hand? Oh, okay, it's right here. After you've glued it up and everything, I drilled a hole and tapered it a little bit. Now I can put that on my bandsaw and safely cut it because my hand's on the other side of it. So it allows me to safely cut that dowel off. And it's a good clean cut. And it's a good cut and everything else. But it, um, and it's and it's it's straight instead of at an angle. Um, but it allows me to safely cut it, and that's the main thing, because my hand is on the other side of it when I'm cutting. And you're cutting a round piece. You have to stabilize it. Yeah, it's it's a round piece that would try to spin otherwise, but you know, it's jammed in the hole, it doesn't spin. And you, should, you can sit there and hold it and cut it. It's a good, safe way of cutting it. Highly recommend it uh, if you're going to uh, use the cork type uh, stoppers. And we're going to so, put those two pieces of one by four in a fall catalog. Okay. Um, drill a hole. I used a 3 8 style. And then I'll just chuck it up here in the lathe. Now, attention, novices, no special equipment. He's using a standard chuck. Um, it's a standard chuck grabbing it. Now, the first thing I need to do is I need to make the bottom flat. So when I come back in with it, I can zoom in on this a little bit too. So when I come back in on it, I can put that flat thing against that edge. So, and when you make these cuts, since you, you have a 3 8 dial that's holding it, be gentle. Just cut, slowly make the cut. Either slowly make a cut or get a catcher's mitt because it's going to leave if you don't. Yeah, make sure you're cutting wood, not the chuck. Exactly. Well, I have oh. a 30 of an inch clearance, so I'm good. I'm going to have to resharpen after that move. Dane, you talk like you had experience. Oh, yeah. You got that <laughs> custom chuck, do you? Right yep. up somewhere. Yep, nobody's picking that, picking that one up and claiming it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, part of what I did is I now have a face that I can shove that against and my bottle stopper is facing out on all the way and all the way around it, which will support it a whole lot better when I start cutting it. 
and when I was doing a non-natural head bottle stopper, I would bring my tailstock up uh, with like a rubber chucky or something soft in there, push against the end to keep it from spinning. I could probably do that here too, but I'm just gonna cut this gently. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a uh, Mark Soleil type spindle gouge and I'm just gonna slowly cut it. Now, folks, while he's cutting, I explained to you, he is riding the bevel seriously right now. Look at the angle of his tool where it's open to. And when he goes in, he picks up that edge and then rides it down. And that was a square piece. He did knock the corners off. And you know why in a moment. Uh oh. where I stand on it. Okay, starting to get round in there. And I'm going to come in here and, and measure a diameter here that I want to get to. So I'm coming in here and measuring. And I'm going to go a little bit big. I can make it, always make it a little smaller. So I'm going to measure that in there to get a diameter on here. So I know what I'm shooting for. Because I'm trying to match back to the core. A step to the cork one way or the other is not attractive. I'm going to use the towel, and I have rounded the tips off on this, so it will not grab. Very, very important that those tips are rounded off. If not, it's going to throw it in your face. But because I've rounded the tips off, it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, and now I have my diameter. And all I did was take my parting tool, bring it in until that passed, passed on that. Now I'll come back and keep cutting this. Okay, and that's where I stop on this, on this piece here. I've got flats on it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand it. I'm gonna turn around and sand the flats and then round these edges off. Well, what I'm doing now is I've, I've, I've sanded the, the rough cutoff from my bandsaw on the, uh, the flat, and then I will just blend everything in to try to uh, But the flats will still be there. Uh, maybe not as flats, but they'll still be as an accent. Maybe the flats are so you can grab it easier to get it out of the bottle. Who puts these things in bottles? Oh. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I would argue that the whole concept of leftover wine is foreign to me, but, you know, we'll go from there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, it's a heck of a technique. It really is. You just put colored water in really? 
put colored water in a bottle and put the cork in it and stick it on the shelf. Yeah, I, I think they're strictly for decoration. Okay. I sell most bottle stoppers to somebody that's going to give them to somebody. Yes. Not somebody that uses them. Okay. Now, I'm going to move it out a little bit because I need to clean this one section off here. I was going to ask Dane, how would you attack that without hitting the chuck? <laughs> I see a compliment to Dane, Dane tonight. Somebody asked about a grind, and Dane responded, it was Mark's leg grind. And the guy answered back, "He, I use a Dane-ish grind. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, Everybody's a comedian tonight, aren't they? Oh, we're loaded with him tonight, uh, Brenda. You know that. With all hey, of them that are out of box, we got to get them, huh? Okay, I could come down a little bit further on it. I still off on it. If I'm the other way, if I'm if it's too small, I can always back up this way and trim it a little bit. So I can adjust it to the cork cork. So this one here, I think if I sand it, it may go it may go down to where it needs to go. So well, let's stick out a little bit so the sandpaper can get to it. Novice turners, that's a detail you don't want to overlook. It, just like when you do pens, if you have a bump over at the joint, at the cap, at the nib, at the band, uh, if there's an offset, you got more wood or less wood than you should, you have to make these adjustments. See, Susan's with us tonight. Hi, Susan. How you doing? Oh, we, we're Zen? enjoying the demonstration with, Dane, like, with uh, Tra Trace right now. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to log in earlier. I'll I'll catch it when it, when it's on the web. Yep, yeah, there was some C stuff. You need you need to catch it when it's on the web for sure. It's on speed down a little bit. That's the beauty of what we do. We have a, a master webmaster, and these programs go on the website. So if you miss it today, you can see it tomorrow. Well, not really tomorrow. It takes a couple of days for Dane to, for Dane to post it. I'm sorry, Dane, I don't want to put that much pressure on you, Dave. Yeah, Dave's got it. He's no all he's under control. Yeah. Okay, right. but that, that brings you in pretty close to the uh, to the court size. And, and I'll put it in. I'll I'll, I'll finish the 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 bottle stopper first, and then I'll uh, put the cork in last. What is your cork supplier? That's going to be asked. It's been so long, I can't really tell. I think I bought a bunch from Nick Cook at one time, so I am not sure if he, he even sells them anymore or what. I thought it depended on how much wine you drink that week. <laughs> <laughs> really, uh, the market is kind of going towards the plastic and rubber and stainless and uh, but the true concept is the cork. And what I'll do, I'll go I'll tell you what, uh, before the end of, I'll go ahead and sp uh, squirt the top of this with uh, lacquer so you see what the see what the color look brings out on it but I'll do that and then we'll, we'll come back later and show it to you. Okay, thank you. Boy, this is it folks. This is worldwide wood turners this is where you can pop in and get a demonstration from a, a seasoned turner or a novice turner. It's right here. And if you'd like to be part of the program, go to our website, make the contact, or send us to our, web, our email, worldwidewoodturners at gmail.com. That's simple, worldwidewoodturners at gmail.com.